What's up everybody, Typical Gamer here with your daily tips, tricks, walkthroughs, guides, secrets, and more on GTA 5. And today I have a guide on how to get the fighter jet known as the P996 Laser in GTA 5. Now, this fighter jet is located in Fort Zancudo and it's heavily armed, so you're going to have to know how to get in there as quick as possible and how to steal this jet. As always, if you enjoy the video, be sure to press that like button and to subscribe for more daily top-notch tips, tricks, guides, and more. So to start, you're going to want to put that marker on the map as you saw at the beginning of this video, and that is at one of the entrances for Fort Zancudo, which is the military base in GTA 5. You're going to want to call up a taxi, it's just the easiest way to get there. You can also drive there if you please. If you want to get in the taxi, you just click triangle or Y to get in. If you hold it, then you would steal the taxi, so be sure to press that and then press X to skip if you want to go there quickly. Now the strategy to get this fighter jet is pretty simple. One, you're going to want to get in your car. Two, you're going to want to ram anything that gets in your way. And three, you're going to want to avoid any tanks or anything like that. Now, there's a couple of fighter jets in here that have part open that you could just climb into the cockpit. And those would be easiest to get in. But this hangar over here has the most coverage. Nobody's going to be shooting at you. You're not going to be in the open. It just takes about a couple seconds to open up the cockpit. So you should be fine. I mean, there's tanks in this area, so you have to watch out. And it might take a couple of tries to do this. As you can see, the Titans in the background, you could grab that as well. And once you're up in the air with the jet, you have to hold R2 or right bumper to take off. And then when you're in the air, be sure to click the left thumbstick down to pull up your landing gear. Now, you will either want to a have some fun with the jet or b land it inside your hangar and to land it inside your hangar from what i know so far you have to be trevor unless you could buy the hangar with somebody else which i think you can if you buy like the airport property so to be safe we're gonna play as trevor to get this and just simply gotta park it into his hangar if you don't know how to do all that stuff be sure to look up my guide on how to get gold and everything for the flight school it'll teach you how to do that very well so as you can see here, I tried as Michael, and a tank was kind of taunting me. He didn't shoot at me until I got in, and then he exploded me. I did get wasted a couple of times trying to get this, but the strategy remained the same. I would steal the taxi just because I didn't want to drive there because it's pretty time-consuming. But yeah, I used to try and get the ones from the right that were in the open, but there's too many guys there, so I definitely recommend going to the hangar where you're not going to get shot. Also, be really careful when you're flying out of the hangar here and out of the military base because there are jets that fly around if you stay for like maybe a second or two more than you should and they will shoot you down unless you know how to do some evasive maneuvers. Now I'm just going to show you guys some gameplay of the fighter jet and a couple of... Um, things I'd like to add is that there are two weapons to it to switch that weapon you either click X on Xbox 360 or square on PlayStation 3 and that switches between the missiles and the chain gun now if you'd like to shoot your active weapon that you have selected on your fighter jet be sure to hold a on Xbox 360 or X on PlayStation 3 now the chain gun is ultimately not the best thing to use unless you're really accurate but the missiles is where it's at it actually locks on to your targets so you could dogfight with other fighter jets as you could see here and you could even blow up people on the street uh, vehicles police other helicopters other jets it's pretty fun to even dogfight with as well now before you park as you can see here, I'm taking out a couple of fighter jets it's really cool but you got to watch out because there's more than one jet in the air and you will get killed what I recommend is storing this fighter jet into your hangar, which is a bit sort of southeast from this hangar. And you're going to have to unlock Trevor and that hangar area. It should be one of the first couple of missions that you do with Trevor, so it shouldn't be a problem. Also, you can see I give a couple of other methods on how to do it. You could uh, find a fighter jet that's on the tarmac and you could get in that as well. What I would recommend to do is killing everybody around there so they don't shoot you while you're in it and kill you. Again, to get the fighter jet in the hangar, you're going to have to know how to land, and you're also going to have to get away from the police. And the best way to get away from police is just to fly straight into the air, because then you lose them pretty easy, and then just come down and make your safe landing. 
Anyway, guys, this jet is really cool. I've had a lot of fun playing with it. I've had a lot of fun showing you guys on the stream all my uh, jukes and acrobatic flying. So if you don't know already, I do stream on twitch.tv slash typical gamer. So be sure to check that out. You can also check out my Facebook and Twitter in the description below. I'm going to be releasing a bunch of more guides, a couple of videos on secret vehicles that I found and a bunch of other cool stuff. So be sure to like this video if you enjoyed it and to subscribe if you haven't already. I'm going to leave you with some more jet gameplay and I'm probably going to upload a couple more videos today as well as always be sure to check out tomorrow's video at 6 p.m eastern 3 p.m pacific and 11 p.m uk thanks for watching i hope you have an awesome day and peace out Two points and crew